a 35 cm high bucket in the form of a flush run is full of water. Radio lower and upper ends are 12 cm and 18 cm respectively. If water from the bucket is poured into a cylindrical drum whose base radius is 20 cm, what will be the height of water in the drum? Here when you pour water from this flush drum to the cylindrical drum, volume in both the cases are equal. That is, just equate volume of water in the flush drum to volume of water in the cylindrical drum. Now, when you equate these volumes, you will get height of water in the drum. That is, this is flush drum. Now, upper end radius is equal to 18 centimeter, lower end radius is equal to 12 centimeter, and here height of water in the flush drum is same as height of flush drum because flush drum is full of water. So, height is equal to 35 centimeter. Now, here cylinder means here cylinder base radius is equal to 20 centimeter and height of water we can find it from equating the volumes. That is here when you pour this water from flush drum to the cylinder volume of water is equal. So, here volume of water in flush drum means volume of flush drum which is equal to pi by 3 h into capital R square plus small r square plus capital R into small r which is equal to volume of water in this cylindrical drum. So, volume of cylinder is equal to pi r square h. Here h is equal to height of water. Now, just calculate here pi and pi cancel remaining h is equal to 35. So, 35 by 3 into R square plus R square plus R R means 18 square plus 12 square plus 18 into 12 which is equal to here R in case of cylinder is equal to 20 square. So, R square is 20 square into height of water. Now, 18 square is 324, 12 square is 144, 18 into 12 means 8 into 2 is 16, remaining 1. 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, remaining 1, 1 into 1 plus 1 is 2. So, sum is equal to 8 plus 16, 14, remaining 1, 4 plus 4, 8, 3 plus 1 plus 2 is 6. So, 684 is the sum here, which is equal to 35 by 3 into 684 is equal to 20 square is 400 into height of water. Now, height of water is equal to here 3 goes 2 times in 6, 2 times in 8, 8 times in 24. Now 4 goes 4 goes 5 times in 22 remaining 28. 4 goes 7 times in 28. Now here if I cancel with 5, 5 goes 7 times in 35 and 5 goes 20 times in 100. Now, this is equal to 57 into 7. 50 into 7 is 350. 7 into 7, 49. So, 399. This side is 399. Now, height of water is equal to 399 by 20. This is around 400 by 20. So, it is around 20. Option 3 is your answer. That is 19.95 is the height of water.